I'm sure there are a lot of Americans that are kind of freaked out about the possibility of this bioweapon, of, of a bioweapon coming out of Wuhan, because let's face it, um, what's the most likely situation? Someone was experimenting with SARS, and they created a disease like SARS, and because that the lab in Wuhan is where they do testing on stuff like that. And who has talked about bioweapons? Me. So does the Chinese government do tests on bioweapons? Probably. But, and could it be injected into an animal and then it jumps to a human? I don't know, honestly. Um, but like I said, I think they would have a, um, I think they'd have a vaccine. But okay, so the other option, like I've said, is someone that likes Dean Koontz decided to hit Wuhan because uh, it's their thing. All right. Um, but so, so those are the, in my mind, those are, those are the possibilities. And I feel like a lot of Americans are kind of freaked out. But what I would tell you is that, um, Wuhan's a very different place in the United States because can I self-isolate where I live? Yeah. A lot of people have houses and stuff like that that are pretty good for, um, self-isolating. And, um, so if we end up having a br uh, outbreak here, um, it's a lot easier, easier to quarantine people because of the nature, like, it, I mean, it's not that easy to quarantine people in New York City or in Chicago, but it, it's not as bad as even, it's not even as bad as Wuhan. Um, so that's a good thing for the United States. And if you're worried about us having to fight a war, um, I, I don't think you understand. Defense is, is like way easier than offense. Um, I was just watching the Vietnam War on TV because my dad has been watching it for two days. And it's like, every time I walk past the TV, it's dead bodies. And I do recognize that we fought the Vietnam War against China. And um, and I do recognize that there are a lot of people in China that have wanted to fight us for a while. And But I, I don't think they want to fight us on our turf. Because, let's face it, like, can we set up guns connected to computers that shoot every single person coming onto a beach? Yeah, um, it, it's a lot more efficient than having um, a person there shooting people. Especially when we can really make that... Uh, make sure that that gun is entrenched. Um, so I feel like no one's going to invade the United States. Um, and that's really what our money should be spent on. So like when the military starts spending as much money as they do on tanks, do I like that? Not really, because I would rather buy landmines and then have them hidden places because like, what do you, why would you, why do you need a tank to fight a tank? Right. Pretty much. Um, so would I, I'd rather just, um, have like in, in like guns that are entrenched and, um, landmines that like in the event that we need to put them out, we put them out. Uh, I don't think they need to, need to be set up, but I mean, you might have them like with your stash of guns in your town. But, um, honestly, I don't think we're going to get to that point because I think it's so hard to get past, um, American defenses like at all, like because our air force is so strong and no matter what you think about, like he, the, the government is not building enough Navy ships, um, they're building too much Air Force. Uh, I don't think you understand that Air Force is like the thing to go with if you're defending home field because you don't have to worry about fuel. Um, but um, and Navy is super expensive to build a lot of. But um, I, I think we're I think the United States is actually in pretty good shape in regard to that. But what I was actually saying is that in, in regard to uh, handling a, a disease out, outbreak, the way that our population is so spread out makes it a lot easier to, to quarantine people. So we're not in the same situation as China. But I don't know where the virus came from. It might come, have come from their lab. It might have come from someone else. But I, I, I think it's a bioweapon. My theory. That's my theory.